OpenAI has just released the feature for image generations tool. So in this video, we're going to take a look at these tools. And the first one we're going to take a look at is the character consistency. So here you can see we're using the GPT-40 and you can see that I have upload a picture of my YouTube profile and I'm asked GPT to generate anime version of this picture. And you can see that this is the result of the picture. And to prove the character consistency working, I also tell GPT-40 to draw a picture of the same character drinking coffee at Starbucks. And you can see that this is the same character that the AI model has just generated. And I can also let GPT-40 to use the same character sitting at the same seat using MacBook to write code and I set the perspective from behind. And here you can see this is what the result look like. So you can see we have the same character writing code on MacBook and we also have the Starbucks cup on the table because there's also a text rendering features for the image generations. So in the GPT-4, I also specify that I want a new character with different specs and approach to the same character with a text bubble for the speech. And here is what the image look like. You can see that we have the same character writing code in the same settings. And then here we have a different characters and this is the text bubble right here. And I can also be able to draw the same picture from the other person's perspective with a face in close up, with a look in doubt and fear on his face and a right index finger pointing at himself and thinking, what, who is Eric? And here you can see this is what the upload image look like. And the other feature that OpenAI has released is the detailed directions. So the way how it works is that we can be able to have multiple images or objects display in the same image. So this is what I did. So I used that to display a sticker sheet, three by three grid featuring the same male character. And for each panels, we're gonna show the character expressing a different emotion or facial expression. And the emotions should be clearly distinct from each other, for example, like happy, angry, shocked, or excited, and such. And then here is what the result look like. So you can see that we have a three by three grid and each image is gonna be a different expression with the same characters that we displayed. And of course, you can also change the same character, but with a different outfit. For example, I wanna change it to a cyberpunk jacket with glowing lines and high-tech visor. So let's see what the result look like. So you can see we're using the same character, but with the different outfits and different styles. And we can also restyle the same character with a different mood, right? Maybe at nighttime lighting with rain falling in the background. So we can change the settings and this is what it looks like. So you can see the expression has changed and also the setting has also changed as well. But we can also change it something more casual, maybe with using the original same characters, right? Not the same one that we did for the cyberpunk style, but we're gonna dress him in a cozy winter outfit with scarf and snow heavy background. And this is what it looks like. So you can see the same characters, maybe slightly different for the face, but you can see that we do see a similar hairstyle, but with a scarf and a winter jacket and a snow background. But let's say if I wanna change the outfit to a specific logo or a specific brand, for example, Adidas outfits, and we wanna show him in a mid action, jumping with energies and terminations with different actions, uh, we can also do so. So this is what the result look like. So you can see that we have Adidas outfits, and then you can see that we have the same characters and does have the settings that it is jumping and it is doing some actions in the current image. And of course, I can also change the original character into a watercolor-like style of a Ghibli Studio style, right? So if you ever seen films from the Ghibli Studio films, it's more like a watercolors for the animations and the characters. But still keeping the same general face and hairstyle, but restyle him with more softer lines, larger eyes, and more natural landscape backgrounds. So that's what we're gonna do. And here is what the result look like. It looks very similar to the style that we're expecting. And if you're interested in more like a fantasy adventurer, we can also do the same. Use the same character for the character consistency, but also give him a armor, glowing sword, and magical forest setting for example. And now this is what the result look like. So you can see that we're still in a forest settings, the armors, the sword and such, and the characters are the same. So what we just talked about is really dynamic. So we basically let the AI to figure out how it's going to generate the image. We can also use this to generate comic book storyline. For example, we can have like a main characters and there's opening scene, discovery, transformations, conflict, cliffhanger ending. So I use ChatGPT to generate a prompt like this. And this is what the result look like. So you can see that we have a comic book and you can see that each box that shows each scene in the story. Now we can also use Sora to generate our images as well. So for example, in Sora, let's say if we found an image, for example, this one, and I can be able to click on remix to create a new image based on this current image here. So I'm just gonna click on remix and be able to upload the image from one of the characters that we generated, for example, this one. And once we create the prompt, we can click on remix to generate the image. So once it's completed, you can see that this is the result looks like. Now you might notice that the Starbucks logo might not be 
the exact same that we used to have, but at least you can see that the character is in the settings and is looking out the window to look at the view. Now I can also be able to upload images like the animation characters along with some popular fictional characters from the Ghibli studio. For example, these characters from the Spirits Away at the sunset setting by the campfire eating barbecue, for example. And if I were to click on remix, this is what the result looked like. Um, now, obviously it might not be perfect in the first generation, you can see that there is a, there's another same person object display at the bottoms here, but that shouldn't be happening. But you can see that we do see all the characters from the movie in the picture. All right, just to show you another example for the remix feature on Sora, where you can be able to remix a existing image with another image. You can see that here I have two images here. So one is generated by Sora and here's the animation characters that we generated earlier in this, in this video. And what I did here is I asked to have the same anime character sitting by the poolside and dipping his feet into the water. And you can see that this is the end result look like, and you can see that the settings are very similar and converted into an animation view. And there's also a feature to create a video for this. So I can be able to select the view. So for example, I can be able to select the view and the duration, and I can be able to select, for example, let's say 720p just to make it more clear. And then what I did here is I specified that I want the male character to step back up and walk out of the door. Now, I don't think it knows which doors to walk out of, and I I think that's what happened here, uh, but I do see that on the second option, there is a door here, right? It creates that door, new door, um, but then walk out of that door, at least. You can see that it just stands up and then sit back down. But at least you can see that we are able to take an image and be able to generate a video using this tool.